Hi guys, it's me, Anna White. Normally I have a drill in my hand, but today all I have is a pair of scissors and some glue and some paper. And what I am making is a banner for my daughter's birthday. What you're going to need is 12 by 12 scrapbooking paper, uh, preferably the thick card stock. You'll need printouts of the letters that you want on your banner. Make your letters about six inches by six inches. I added a frame around mine just so I didn't have to spend all of my time cutting out the G. Now I can just cut out a circle around that. Much easier. You'll need some glue or some paste. If you have paste, that's even better because it'll help your paper lay flat when, it's, when the glue dries. And some scissors. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is um, we need to identify what is the top of the paper if it has a direction. So this is the top here, and then we need to find the middle of the bottom. So the easiest way to do that as your paper could vary slightly is just make a quick fold right there. We have that little crease, and I'll mark that with my pencil. And then just take a straight edge, oops, and once we get one of these done, we can use it as a pattern for the rest. So um, we're just going to draw a line here, and then we'll do that over here, same thing. And I actually made the entire happy birthday banner in about an hour, so a really quick, fun project. Um, my big regret is I made it while my daughter was sleeping, and she woke up and she was really upset with me that I didn't allow her to help. She's at school right now, so she's probably going to be upset with me that I'm not letting her do her name here, G for Grace. Um, so we're just gonna cut on those lines, okay? Okay, so I'm not one to waste, right? And this is pretty flimsy as it is, so why not take the scraps and glue them on the back like that. Not only will it make it a little bit stronger um, and hang better, but it won't make it as see-throughs. Here you want to apply your glue, and again, if you have paste, that would even be better. And just apply glue. Make sure you apply it around the edges. And this is definitely something your kids can do with you. And another thing you can do here if you're using glue is use a rolling pin to just kind of smooth this glue out on top and make sure this is all flat. Okay. So now we've got a double thick, no waste. I just despise any wasted materials. I print out of my letter and you can do all sorts of things. You could leave these blank. There's no reason why you, know, you have to put anything on it, especially if you have really beautiful paper. But we wanted a banner that spells happy birthday. And then I thought I had so much fun making a happy birthday. Why not add happy birthday grace to it? What I did here is I put the letters in a frame just because it's a lot easier to cut out this frame than it would be to cut out a more paste or glue. This is all stuff that your kids could definitely do with you um, to help decorate for their own party. Okay, and then we want to give a little bit of room at the top for a ribbon, or something like that. Smooth it out. That is a G. Now, depending on how you want to hang this, you could use fingernail clippers to clip and clip and then thread your ribbon through and through. That would be super fun. But what I have here is this is actually a, um, this actually came on a blanket that I bought. It was a, like a $5 throw and it had the tag tied on with this. And I thought, hey, I could use that for something, right? So um, 
I'm always up for using free materials. You know, this banner all together is gonna cost us just a few dollars to make it. It's personalized, matches, you know, my daughter wanted an American Girl birthday. And after buying the American Girl presents, who can afford decorations, right? So this banner is definitely not setting us back much. Um, so I have these miniature paper clips, I mean these miniature clothespins, and you could use paper clips, that would be super cute. And I'm just going to clip it on. And there we have a G. So some suggestions if you're using like different uh, colors. What I did on this banner is I went with a warm color, then I went with a cool color. Um, warm cool and warm just to kind of balance it and then I did the opposite here a cool frame warm letter warm frame cool letter and I just alternated to keep the interest